the channel this is the stitching colorist so today's video it's going to be the Halloween color it tag I was tagged in this uh, color along by the lovely Nikki from Nikki in Niagara and basically for the hot well I'm not sure how long it's supposed to run for but you find 10 items in different colouring books for you to colour plus 2. So this was originally created by a girl called Christy, I think. I'm not sure which Christy it is. So I'll be unable to actually put her link in the descriptions below but i will link nikki and niagara's anyway so we'll make a start and i'll show you what i've chosen so we was told to choose um different items through like different coloring books and i think it's all based on halloween so the first one number one is a tombstone so the one I chose to do for that is out of here. I'll just put a bit of lighting on here. That's it. So the first one I chose from was this one. And this one is the one that I chose to do the tombstones. Because I thought, what's more better tombstones than a lovely picture from this one. From Halloween Colour by Number by Prachi Duan Sach Diva. So that is the one that I chose for tombstones. So the next one to find was ghost. I was a bit unsure about this because I thought because I'm limited to what Halloween colouring books I've got because some of them are like mystery colour by number and I thought well how am I going to get around this one? But I had a good look through my books. I think it took about an hour to have a look through to find the different things. Uh, however, I did find one on Ghosts and it was in this one. It's Halloween Colour by Number and this is by Nikki Sharma. And the ghost picture that I found was this one. As soon as I saw this, because at first I thought Ghost. Mm, I don't think I've got that many uh, books with ghosts in, if any. But then I looked through this and I thought, perfect, absolutely perfect. My initial plan was to do ghost face from my lines, dots and spirals. But the only problem with that, I didn't know what page ghost face was on. So, yeah, I chose this one for that. And I'm really thrilled to be doing that one. So the next one was to find a witch. And perfect. I had the perfect book for this. I've got other books that's got like witches in but I thought yes because <laughs> I love my lines dots and spirals and I thought I need one of a witch this is perfect because it's full of witches so yeah and I actually chose this one out of here now you might not be able to see that so much on camera but this is a dots picture and this is it is one of the witches from the witches <laughs> by Roald Dahl because I could tell by the face, I thought that would be absolutely perfect for the witch colour, witch colour, for the witch part of the tag, which was number three. I'm not exactly sure who this is by. So the next one was to find, number four was to find a pumpkin. And I thought I've got a few books that's got pumpkins in and I thought, I wanted to mix it up a bit so you get some normal colouring books besides colour by numbers. And I got this one out, Enchanted Halloween, a Whimsy Girls Fantasy colouring book. And this is by Hannah Lynn. I have not coloured anything in here for absolute ages. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to have a look in here and actually do something in here. Because you know what I'm like, guys. I tend to just colour in, colour by number mostly. And I thought it'd be nice to do something different. So the one that I chose was this one. And the reason why I chose this is because obviously it's got a pumpkin in. But I'd already started this one ages and ages ago. And I never completed it. And I thought, you know what? 
as well as doing the colouring tag it would be a great opportunity to be able to finish pictures that I have not finished before so I thought that is perfect so yeah I chose that one to do for number four so the next one is number five is to find bat about a picture with a bat in now this was difficult because I'd already got a picture of a bat which was in a previous colouring book I've just shown you but the problem with that is I already coloured it so the bestest one I could find with bats in is this one and this is witches uh, yeah I could have used this for the witch uh, colouring but I wanted to try and get as many like different books as possible so the one I choose chose for number five for the bat was this one and the reason why I chose this is it's not I don't know if it's you have to colour a bat or if you have to have a picture that bats are in and I thought because I haven't got really a picture that's got to colour a bat I chose this one because I thought it's got bats in it now this is a stained glass colouring book I've had this for ages and ages and I have never ever coloured a picture in it so I thought you know what it would be a great opportunity to start colouring some books that I haven't coloured in before so that is number five for the bat so the next one is number six is to find something with cobwebs now I remember something from before um, I remember a, remembered a book I had that had cobwebs in it and I thought again it would give me the oomph to actually colour in books that I've not coloured in before so I chose this one which is Freak of Horror colouring book and this is by Darren Voorhees <laughs> Jason Voorhees uh. so yeah so the one that I chose for cobwebs for this one is this one um, I thought it's got it in it but in the background it's got spiders and cobwebs in the background and I thought that would be brilliant for number six to do the cobwebs um, so my plan with this one is to do it in alcohol markers but in the background for the cobwebs um, I want to use like a metallic or a silver glitter gel pen for that so that is what I'm going, going to do with that and I'll probably use my Pentel markers for that one well my Pentel jewel tip glitter, ben, well, gl glitter pens <laughs> So the next one for number seven is potions and I thought this one is really easy um, so I chose this one for that to do for the potions because I thought I've got a few books that actually has potions in so I had quite a bit of a variety for this one and the one that I chose to do if I can find it just give me a second because I'm trying not to stretch my arm across camera so the one that I chose to do is this one by Sun Live Drawing and I thought this one would be perfect because there's the little witch in the background just tipping potions into a cauldron and she's got different potions round here and that on the shelves and I just thought it would be perfect for the potions one so yeah that is what I chose to do for number six, uh, seven for potions. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a call. So, number eight, which is vampire. I saw this and I thought, perfect, <laughs> absolutely perfect. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. How, <laughs> how could you not when you've got this? Um, this is by Dark Horse Books and it's got different, it's, the illustrations are by different people throughout this book, um, so it's got a number of the people there 
where the illustrations are by. And the one that I picked out of this for the vampires is... Let me just find it. I chose... Oh, God, shaking the camera. I chose this one. Yeah, she's not a vampire. But he is. Angel. If you've got to watch uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, it was an older TV show uh, back in the 90s. Well, late 90s, I think. And Angel was a vampire. He was he was once a bad vampire called Angelus, and then he gets um, he gets a curse put on him, which basically turns him good, but he can never feel love in a particular way because if he does, it sends him back to being Angelus again. So yeah, I thought that would be a perfect one to do um, for the vampires one. I want to colour this in markers, but then again, I think it would be good in pencil as well. So I think I'm going, this one, I'm going to use a variety of mediums to do this. Um, yeah, I might actually do marker and then shade over with pencil. And do it that way to do this one I'm not experienced on it <laughs> but it's a great way to learn so yeah that is one that I chose for the vampires so for number nine zombies I had a little bit more of a difficulty trying to find this one um, still, I haven't really got a lot of books with zombies in to be honest so I thought I'd have a look at this one, which is Horror Colour by Numbers, Colouring Book for Adults. And this is by Zen Masters Colouring Book. And I thought with it being a horror book, I thought I'm going to check it out. See if I've got any pictures of zombies. And I have. I found this one. <laughs> I thought it's absolutely perfect. A zombie crawling out of the ground um, with the tombstones in the background I thought that would be perfect to do for number nine which is the zombies one so yeah that is why I chose that one so for number 10 which is candy this one was I don't want to say difficult I thought I could use my Colour Questopia book, my Candies one. And I thought, but I want to keep it to the Halloween theme. So, I chose this one. This is Freak of Horror colouring book. And this is by Bloody Doll. And I remembered a picture that I saw in this a little while ago. And I thought, it is perfect. So, I chose that one. I thought it's perfect. It's got your Halloween themed and he's got a candy in his hand like a lollipop stick. And I thought that would be perfect for candies. So it is actually amazing what you think you haven't got but what you do manage to find. So that those are the 10 things that we needed to find to colour. Now, there is two bonus things, and the bonus in uh, pictures was a scanning term. Now, this one I did have difficulty finding because I just, I was like, yeah, I don't have any pictures of a scanning terms. So, I thought, um, for the bonus pictures, because they are bonus, I'm going to have a look in my previous book. So, I decided to look in this one. Because I know this is quite a variety with um, zombies and vampires and that. So I thought I'll have a look to see if it's got one of a skeleton in. So I didn't find one of an actual full skeleton. I just could not find one. But however, I did find this one with skulls in it. And I know it's not a proper full skeleton. But it's kind of skull, so it's like part of a skeleton. So I thought I'm going to do this one because, as well as that, it was also one that I started a while ago that I never finished. And I thought it would be perfect to get this picture finished as well. 
and I was using my chameleon markers to do this and I thought I will carry on with that get this scaling to well get the skulls done in it um I thought it's the best bet thing that I'm gonna get with skeletons to be honest so yeah I did have to go with that one for that so the last bonus picture was of a mummy I did have a look in a oh gosh what was the name of the book it was a Tutankhamun book and I thought well that's mummies but then it didn't actually show actual mummies it showed the is it I can't it starts with an O it was it's the cases that the mummies were put in uh, however I did like I said look through my previous books that I've chosen and I thought I'll have a look in this one maybe there is a mummy in this so I had a look in it and I found I don't want to show you that I found this one perfect <laughs> perfect I found my mummy so I thought that is great found it and I thought that is brilliant so that is the 10 items that you have to find in the colour along tag which is I've got my notes here which is called Halloween colour it tag however I have actually mentioned in the video I will put a link in the descriptions below so now I've been tagged by the lovely Nikki from Nikki in Niagara thank you so much Nikki I was absolutely thrilled when you tagged me in this and I thought it, it's gonna give me something to go for something to aim for so now I'm going to tag three more people in I do apologize guys if you have already been tagged in this coloring challenge color along whatever you call it uh, if you have already been tagged in it then please do ignore it <laughs> um, however if I've not tagged you in it and you do want to take part feel free just fill your boots <laughs> feel free um, if you do want to join in and you've not been tagged you don't have to be tagged to want to join in so the three people that I'm going to uh, tag in is just sip my coffee is Country Girls Colouring Place I tag you <laughs> I am also tagging Thunder Junkie and the third person that I'm going to tag is Colour With Joanne so if you haven't been tagged in it and I have tagged you in it and you're thinking oh my god I've not got all of those images in the 10 things I have to find plus the two please please don't worry just improvise <laughs> improvise or you don't even have to find them all even if you just find a couple of them um so yeah that is the end of this video and again it is for the halloween colour it tag so thank you again to nikki and niagara for tagging me in this tag i'm absolutely thrilled to bits with it um I'm, like i said i'm not sure how long you're supposed to have to do these pictures with me i can color quite quick and sometimes it'll take me a while so I'm not going to give myself a time limit to do these um, because obviously I have other things to do around the house. So I'm not giving myself a time limit. So what I'm just going to do is take my time and when I've finished them all, I shall do my completed pages from from the tag, uh, which is the... Yeah, <laughs> I've shut the book again. So I'll be doing my finished pages from the Halloween Colour It tag so guys i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have enjoyed the video please feel free to give it a big thumbs up i would really appreciate that uh if you're not already subscribed to the channel then feel free to press that subscribe button i would absolutely love to have you here i just want to say thank you again to my subscribers i know it's going up and it's just yeah it's just amazing and i just want to say thank you so so much uh, you all actually do mean a lot to me and I love your comments so yeah anyway I'm gonna get going now and I shall see you again soon so goodbye for now guys bye